and we're all finished. We're actually running late because we were having so much fun with our kite. The sky is beautiful. Thank you, CB's crew, for supporting our Circle Plus. Sunday and I am at Dutch Brothers to get a drink and then I'm gonna go to the uh, laundromat I didn't go to bed until 2 this morning <coughs> I finished most of the laundry room I just need some I gotta cut in with the brush uh, to finish painting and then I have the, um, the baseboards to do and then the shelf so I may do the shelf tomorrow evening I'm not gonna overexert myself today. I need to go to the Dollar General. Y'all remind me so I can get some index cards so I can start studying. Hey y'all. So everybody decided to go to Dutch Brothers this morning. Um, <clears throat> I need to get something to give me a kickoff because I've got a lot to do. I gotta start preparing. Like I said, I'm just telling you guys I need to go to the Dollar General. I need to go to Sally's to get me a silk cap. My hairdresser was telling me that it's best to wrap your hair in silk scarves or silk something because if you wrap it in anything else, it doesn't tend to lay down, it tends to curl up. And that makes sense. I was like, okay. So um, I'm gonna try and see if I can find that at Sally's. And then I need to go to the Dollar General store to get just index cards. because I need to start studying for my exam. So I've got my book with me. While I'm at the laundromat, I'm going to start reading it again, just going over some things that I need to go over. And uh, I'm going to write myself some trick questions and throw words in there to throw myself off. Um, so, yeah, today is going to be a busy day. However, <laughs> however, I'm going to find some time to lay down and try and take me a nap, okay? For real, for real. I have another busy week ahead of us, so... I need my energy. I haven't heard from my cousin yet. Mm. Whew. Things can change in a blink of an eye. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Whew. It was just cold the other day, and now my car to thermometer or temperature gauge is saying that it's 73 degrees outside y'all <laughs> that's texas weather for you i'm telling you i don't think i don't think we'll be getting any more cool weather here maybe maybe easter so i don't know but anyway i'll pick y'all up when i get settled at the the end of the weekend but i still wanna turn up yeah i still wanna turn up all i want is to go again but you ain't picking your phone up why you messing my head up any night any day let me take you away all i need is just saying yeah, yeah. Now, it's tuesday afternoon and guess where I am? So I'm going to show y'all what I've done so far because tomorrow is delivery time for my um my new washer and dryer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Whew. Here we go. So as I stated, I was going to paint the room and I did. I painted the ceilings as well. And I painted the shelving white, white. And so... I just need to get the blue tape off the floor and I need to clean this floor y'all because it's a hot mess. Let me tell you something. I stayed up until two o'clock Sunday morning. Then I worked on it Sunday night. I even did the trim around the door. So I just need to get on my hands and knees and clean. I've got this spot right here I gotta do. And then, yeah. That'll be it. So tomorrow, around about this time, 
Well, they're supposed to come before uh, between seven, seven and eleven tomorrow morning. So I have a staff meeting tomorrow afternoon. So that works perfect for me. So I'm gonna quickly get on here because I gotta go in there and get on my hands and knees and clean that floor. But I had something real funny I wanted to share with y'all. Your boy CB, I tell you. Yeah, I almost had a meltdown this week because CB wastes a lot. He he goes through towels and clothes like, like there's no tomorrow. So I've been very limited as to what I had here clean-wise to use because I flat out refuse to spend $50 at the laundromat. I'm, I'm, I'm just not doing it. I ain't doing it. I just think it's horrible how they have just increased the prices for nothing more than just greed. Just greed. But anyway, last night, y'all, <laughs> CB came out of the shower. TV's about six foot, okay? I'm four foot 11 and a half. I'm gonna put that half on there. Yep, I'm gonna put that half on there. And girl, when he came out, He had went into my things, which vexes me, okay? I didn't know whether to cry or laugh. I couldn't do either or. But he went in my, one of my drawers and got one of my PJ bottoms out and decided to put them on, child. When I tell you them things was jacked up on him, he looked like Forrest Gump from behind. He, <laughs> Them pajamas hit him where it would hit me on my ankles. It hit him on his kneecap, okay? He was looking a hot mess. And then looking at me under eye, I thought, mm-hmm. I had to pray about it for a minute because I was like, Lord, mm, he's trying my patience because I am just like my mother. When I say I'm just like my mother and I used to do the same thing, I would get into her clothes only just to smell her scent. I would, I would put my mom's slips on or something like that just to smell her scent. She used to wear that um, cologne called Estelada. Anyway, it had like a lemon fa fragrance to it and it smelled so good on her. I would just go in her, her closet. Now I understand why. You don't go into folks' things. Leave my alone, okay? So I'm looking at him cross-eyed, and he looking at me. Next thing I know, he put it in dirty clothes. So I got clothes. This house is a mess, but I'm not going to worry about it. That's a trigger for me, um, a real bad trigger. But, y'all, I've come a long way, and my patience has has grown so much and I just thank God because I have to have patience with my child because there's some days when I just want to scream but anyway just wanted to hop on here real quickly and say first of all thank you Jesus I cast my vote today I'm not telling nobody what to do but I cast my vote they didn't have any more of them stickers but I cast my vote I sure did so Without further ado, I will pick y'all up either later or tomorrow. See ya. What are y'all? It's a little bit before seven, a little early than I normally wake up to log on, but um, I got I received an email notification last night that they would, um, the Home Depot would be delivering the washer and dryer this morning, anytime between seven and 11. So let me show you the finished product before the products get here. So here's the floor. Clean, baseboards are done. Around the door is done. I didn't fix that ding there, by the way. I may fix it after they install it. <clears throat> and here's the shelving, y'all. So I'm gonna hop off real quick.
hop off real quick and log in and get prepared so when they get here, I can go ahead and um, allow them to come in so they can deliver the um, units. But I'll pick y'all up later. So guys, here's the finished installation. And guess what? I have so much more room in here than I did before. So, yep. I'm happy. I'm sure CB's happy. Hey y'all, it is Wednesday. It is hump day. Whew. Mm. I'm on my way in for a staff meeting, so I had to put on some, first take a shower and put on some clothes and then come in. It looks like it's kind of hazy or kind of looks like it's gonna rain or something. I don't know. I hope it don't. <laughs> I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow, but I know we're gonna need the rain in the next coming month. So Lord, if you see fit for us to get rain, so be it. I just wanted to come on here and just, you know, just say that I'm grateful, y'all. I got my my washer and my dryer hooked up this morning. Whew. I've done my first load. I got to read the manual because I don't know how this thing works. Um, but I'm just grateful because some of the simplest things can throw my son off with autism. So, yeah. So, now he won't be stressing about his favorite pajamas or, you know, not having enough towels to wash his hands, dry his hands, um, things like that. It makes a difference, y'all. It makes a big, big, big difference. So, hope y'all are having a wonderful week so far. I'm having a very productive one. Um, like I said, I'm just grateful. I am grateful. So, so grateful. Anywho, your girl's gonna watch where I'm going on the road here because I got in front of behind a slow pokey um and i need to get there at one so i'm gonna have to go around this person but anyway i'm gonna put y'all down and i'll pick y'all back up as my grandmother used to say in the reckless keep making that string long i have a kite here cb is holding the string we're hoping it goes up there seems to be enough wind today Ready? Okay, let's go towards the big tree, CB. Run! Run, CB! Good job! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going, CB! Oh, his kite went all the way up. CB, look at your kite! Look! Pull it! Oh, good job! You got that kite all the way up! Nice! Give me a high five for a high flying kite. Nice job. Do you want to try it again? Okay. Yes, I see that. Yep, I see it. Yes, it is.